just want to thank everyone for being here today. Um, we've uh, invited a, a number of guests to come here, so um, just run through some quick introductions and you can uh, talk to them later. But uh, uh, certainly thanks to the mayor. Tom Henry is here today. He'll be giving a, a few comments. Uh, David Nelson and with the League for the Blind and Disabled here in Fort Wayne. Uh, no other particular order. Uh, Carlos Taylor has come from Ball State University. He's the Adaptive Computer Technology Specialist. Um, I've known Carlos since maybe he was 16 or something, so <laughs> he's, uh, he's a shining star. Uh, Wade Winkler is here from uh, uh, Easter Seals Crossroads, Director of Assistive Technology. And um, Eric Wagenfeld is uh, from IPFW, Director of Services for Students with Disabilities, along with Julie Schrader, also IPFW. Uh, she's the Accommodation Specialist Services for Students with Disabilities. I'd also like to introduce, uh, on my right, is Dan Hubble from Microsoft. Uh, you've heard of Microsoft Corporation. Uh, he's a Senior Marketing Manager but what I, the title I really like, he's the Assistive Technology Evangelist, and that really explains what he does. Uh, Jeremy Curry is to my immediate right. Jeremy's uh, uh, sales manager with GW Micro and director of training. And my name is Dan Weirich. Um, I uh, usually use the title Vice President of Sales and Marketing, and, and I'm one of the co-founders along with Doug Joffrey, who's in the office right now probably fielding tens of uh, phone calls. Um, the reason I've, we've invited so many of these guests is to help tell our story. It's, it's a difficult story. Uh, we provide products for people who are blind. And this is a sometimes complicated, hard to explain unless, unless that's you or you have a family member who's blind. And so um, each of these people can kind of explain a little better from their perspective, from their point of view. Um, uh, if you can imagine if um, you're a small business and you want to hire somebody who's visually impaired, um, you might be faced with, well, where do I get this product and, and how do I pay for this product, for example? Or maybe uh, you're someone that's uh, blind who's uh, at home, um, and you're trying to just purchase uh, products online independently. Or maybe you're a state agency, like Voc Rehab, for example. Um, or you're a city agency, you're part of city government or state government, federal government, and you employ people with disabilities, and you're faced with a budget. I have this much money to spend, what can I do? So all of these scenarios are being affected by this, this new project, this new announcement. Um, uh, and of course, the problem in the past has always been, what if this particular person isn't um, um, uh, considered employable by certain standards? And so they may not get these services. In the United States, if you have a disability, by and large, the, the assistive technology is funded through vocational rehabilitation. It's tied to employment. So if someone doesn't fit in that category of being employable, then it may be difficult for them to get funding for these kind of products. So this is all part of this story. And um, I will encourage you at the end to maybe talk with our experts because they are the people that will be affected by this. But to get started, let me read our press release. Uh, GW Micro is proud to make a revolutionary announcement. GW Micro and Microsoft Corporation has partnered to make window eyes available for users of Microsoft Office at no cost. Window eyes is a screen reader that enables people who are blind, visually impaired, print disabled, uh, to have full access to a Windows PC. Um, and it makes a computer accessible through speech output or braille output with a braille display. To better deliver window eyes to the people who need it most, GW Micro and Microsoft have collaborated on this global initiative. It's available in over 15 languages to enable anyone using Microsoft Office 2010 or later to use window eyes for free. 
access to technology is critical to people who are blind and visually impaired in order to have the same opportunity uh, to compete in the workplace with people who are sighted. Uh, as such, this initiative between GW Micro and Microsoft has the potential to reduce barriers for millions of people who are blind or visually impaired around the world. Uh, eligible customers using Microsoft Office 2010 or later uh, will be able to download, or they are able to download, a full version of Windows starting now uh, at www. This is one word: windowsforoffice.com. Window e y e s f o r office.com. Website provides download instructions as well as uh, additional uh, details on downloading the software. Um, uh, to keep this brief, I'd like to invite Dan Hubble uh, to give a, a few minutes, uh, a couple minutes to speak and to give some of his perspectives as to this announcement. Thank you, Dan. Uh, again, my name is uh, Dan Hubble. I'm from Microsoft Corporation, and I'm the technical evangelist for our accessibility group. This is a really important announcement for Microsoft and for users of Microsoft Office. Uh, Microsoft's vision and mission is to empower people and businesses throughout the world to realize their full potential. And people with disabilities sometimes have had a hard time doing that with technology because technology can provide barriers, particularly in the case of what we've been talking about, people with visual disabilities. Um, so this opportunity for us to partner with GW Micro has really been about how do we bring the most opportunity for people with disabilities to be productive at home and be productive in the workforce. And so this partnership with Microsoft Office and GW Micro really is an effort for us to show that the barriers to technology should be taken down as much as uh, we can do to, to bring people to be more productive in the workforce. So um, we're excited today to be hopefully being a part of, as Dan said, bringing technology to millions of people that may not have otherwise had the opportunity to have access to this technology in the past. Thank you. Thanks. Also, I'd like to um, uh, ask Jeremy Curry if he could step up just for a moment and uh, give another perspective for this opportunity. Good afternoon. Today here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, with the new global initiative, the collaboration between GW Micro and Microsoft, we are literally changing the world for thousands, maybe millions of people who are blind or visually impaired. So people like myself who may have had barriers because of lack of access to assistive technology are now finally able to get past those economic barriers and be able to get access to jobs that they didn't have access to in the past. And not only is this, is this effective in the United States, but since it's a global initiative, this is for developing countries as well. So people who didn't have the economic resources are now able to get access to this technology. This is a substantial leap forward in the assistive technology industry as well as for GW Micro and Microsoft as well as they continue to show their commitment to people with disabilities, including people who are blind or low vision. And so we just want to say thank you very much for Microsoft for collaborating with us. And we're very excited about this announcement as we literally change the world today. First of all, thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, you know, actually, I'm, I'm a little I'm a little upset. Uh, as mayor, you try to keep your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on in the community. I had no idea this was going on. <laughs> so I, I got to talk to my staff about that. It, the, uh, uh, but this is fantastic. It, it really is. Uh, you know, Fort Wayne has been known uh, for a lot of different things, and most of them good. Uh, we have the city of churches and a, and a number of other titles. One of the things that we were uh, noted for in the past and continue to be noted for is innovation. You know, the television set was created in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Calculators were started in Fort Wayne, Indiana, as well as a number of other inventions. But this one, to me, is really unbelievable. 
uh, to be able to take technology today, to be able to apply it to those who have cha visual challenges, visual impairment, uh, to me is a magnificent quantum leap forward in this community. And the fact you're going to be able to globally reach people uh, is, is truly a, a magnificent statement. So I want to thank Microsoft. I want to thank GW, everyone who was involved in this. Uh, next time, though, you let me in on this secret. <laughs> that, uh, uh, but seriously, thank you so much. Uh, it's a great statement for the city of Fort Wayne. Uh, thank you all who were, who were involved in this. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Yes, we did keep it secret. It was uh, difficult. Uh, development is tough, and uh, of course, within our uh, market, if you want to call it the market, it's, uh, uh, we kept it pretty quiet. Well, we're uh, wrapping up this formal part of, the, of our conference today. We've got a couple computers set up. We invite you to check the website, you know, um, windoweyesforoffice.com. We've got it up and running. We also can provide a demonstration of window eyes. If you've never heard a computer talk before, it works. Um, also, I would really invite uh, the media to talk to our guests. I mean, they are here specifically to explain this story. How does, what does this mean to Ball State University, to IPFW, to vocational rehabilitation and assessments and the training that Crossroads provides? So, um, uh, and certainly the League for the Blind. So please uh, invite you to uh, talk to these people. Yes, sir. Dan, you might want to entertain some questions as, as a whole with the group. If that's real sure, time. we can take a few questions for a while and then maybe the detailed questions later. Are there any questions? Yes, Doug. How will, uh, how will it affect the GW Micro to be giving away your main product or will you be getting anything from Microsoft to at least cover your um, development costs, or are you transitioning to become a nonprofit? Or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, actually, some of those, some of the answers, uh, we're going to know better in six months than we know today. But certainly, the working alongside Microsoft right now is providing uh, the, us the ability to do that, and um, it, it gives us an opportunity to look at how this how technology is evolving. If technology is evolving. I mean, people today expect to pick up a phone and do something cool with it for free. And um, so that kind of environment is in a lot of places. So we're looking at that and we're, we're determining how we're going to respond to that in the future. Anything else? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, first, I would like to say that I am thrilled that you're providing this for Campus Michigan and Pearl Coordinator, I do get phone calls, and in fact, had one yesterday, so couldn't be better timing. <laughs> but my question to you is, you know, in the past, we've been accustomed to getting updates yeah. and that yep. type of thing. How is that going to be? Different? Right. So we're still supporting uh, what I'm going to call the full retail version of Window Eyes. Window Eyes, um, we're still planning to sell Window Eyes as we have in the past. And for people that already own Window Eyes, we're still providing upgrades just like we have. And major upgrades, you know, I'm not going to give out uh, dates because we always kind of hedge on when they're going to be released. But um, those will still take place. And if you can think of two parallel products moving at the same time, we're going to still honor all of those. So all of the people who already have Window Eyes still will have Window Eyes. There are some differentiations. Um, don't want to get too technical, but there's people who have the full retail version of Window Eyes have always gotten full unlimited technical support. People who got Window Eyes for Office, now we're going to begin to charge for parts of technical support. We'll support the installation, but we're going to be charging a fee for the technical support, which is more in line with a lot of the industry. You know, if you buy accounting software, you know you pay a great deal for technical support. So uh, that kind of a model. There's some other differences too. The full window eyes uh, includes several speech synthesizers that are built into it that of course we, we pay for. Um, and with the, the free version, the window eyes that you download, windoweyesforoffice.com, that version is gonna have uh, eSpeak, for anyone who knows what that is, and the Microsoft speech platforms but if you want the very human sounding voices, we'll sell those voices. So it's kind of an enhancement. 
Um, and so those are some of the things that are differentiate the two products. Anything else? Yes, sir. You have other products that are kind of important, the PW Micro, that tie into the um, window eyes for office? Yeah, so we've, um, we have, uh, since 1990, when we started, we've always focused on blindness assistive technology. Sometimes we might uh, uh, serve a different uh, you know, disability, but that's our main focus is blindness. And yes, we do have some other products. Um, boy, one of the most popular products we have is called Socialize. Um, one of the difficult websites for a blind person to use is Facebook. That's just uh, it's the way it is. And um, so we created a product called Socialize, which gives them a simpler way of using Facebook. We've got a product called GW Connect, which is an easier product than Skype, even though internally the engine is really Skype. It's really Skype, but a different user interface on it. And so we expect to continue to not only have those products, but continue in that direction and provide other uh, products similar to that in the future. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, would you be rolling it out then possibly for laptops and things? Oh. oh sure. Well, uh, so this runs on a Windows operating system, so uh, a Windows computer, Windows PC. It doesn't actually work on phones today. Okay. Uh, this is for a, a computer system. Now, will we do something different in the future? Uh, you know, we're, we're open for suggestions. So, yeah, absolutely other platforms, potentially. Anyone else? How did the uh, relationship happen? How did, how did, how did, the, how did we, the two come together? Yes, we have worked very closely with Microsoft for a long, long time. Uh, 1990, when we started, it was DOS. And uh, um, I forget version numbers now. Gosh, how could I forget? But anyways, <laughs> whatever version of DOS you had in 1990, um, and uh, jumped into Windows in 1995. And so we've had a very close relationship. Microsoft actually is very proactive in encouraging, well, that's why Dan is part of Microsoft, but encouraging uh, the use of assistive technology They've hosted workshops for companies such as ourselves. So we've traveled there, uh, different labs. We've done training for Microsoft. Microsoft has asked us to provide training. That's what Jeremy, it's exactly what Jeremy has done. He's gone to Microsoft to teach them what is this like? Because the, the people who may work on the Office group or you know, the Internet Explorer or Windows group, you know, they may not necessarily know what's, what's needed until they learn that. So we've had a very close relationship with Microsoft for many, many, many years. Well, I'd like to kind of close this part of it, but please talk to our guests. They, have, uh, uh, they can provide a perspective uh, that is different than us. It, uh, when I told um, them when they came here, the, the response from them was, you're kidding me, really, wow. And it, it's, this is a game changer for them this really changes the world. So thank you very, very much for coming here, and uh, we'll be here for questions and answers again. Thank you.